in today's tutorial i'll show you the easiest way to make money fall in blender you can also do this with leaves or even v bucks so first let's add a plane so go to shift a mesh plane let's, let's just scale it up bring it up a bit maybe then we want to go to over to the particles tab and press add and now if you press play you can see that the particles are oh wrong button you can see that particles are falling but obviously this is not exactly how we want it to be so go into google and find the money that you're going to use or it can be you know a leaf or something like that and save image as and then hit save i've already got a save though so if you want to import it as a plane make sure you go to your preferences if you haven't got this on already head over to add-ons and then type in plane and make sure you have this checked import images as plane because you're going to need that then hit shift a go down to image image as planes then head over to where you saved your texture 5000 all right here's the texture obviously you can't see it because you're inside of view so click on material view and now you can see it looks perfectly fine so if we just maybe scale it and move it to the side for now and then click back onto your plane and now we need to change the settings so the first thing i'll probably change is the, the actual objects go to the render tab and change it from halo to object and then select your object so press it select the object and now if you press play you can see that the money's falling but obviously this is not what you want it's too small it's not rotating and it's just not what we want so a few things we need to change First one, I'll probably change the scale, so maybe go forward a bit, increase the scale to how you want it to be. It depends on you know what object you have. Then go to rotation, turn it on, <clears throat> increase the randomize, the phase, maybe randomize that, dynamic. So now if you see that should be there. There. It's actually way too fast. So what we should do is go down to forward weights and we lower the gravity. So make it fall slower and that's exactly what we want. Actually you know what I think the money is way too big, so you can easily come and change the settings. So we'll change it to maybe that. Let's have a look. That's much better. I still think we have too many particles, so we go to the top, change it from maybe a thousand to three hundred. So less particles will fall. That's way better. But you see when it's falling, it's actually not rotating while it's falling. And that's exactly what we want. So we head over to the rotation, open up angular velocity and increase that to about, I think four is a good value. And now if you watch it back, you'll see that they rotate as they fall. But you see these planes, they're quite, um, they're just like simple planes. So what we can do is go back to our main object. If you guys are wondering what button I just pressed, it's this one here on screen. Hit tab to go into edit mode. Let's just go back into solid mode. And now you can see there's four vertices. If you click on one of them, you can actually raise it up. But before we do that, let's um, press A to select all the vertices. Right click, hit subdivide. And now we have this. So we can just move this down a bit. Hit this, click G. Move it up. Maybe move this one up a bit there. This one down. Just to give it a bit of, just give, you know, just to give it a bit of geometry. Make it a bit slightly different. You know, so it doesn't look plain. See, there's like a crease in it. Right click, shade to move. There we go. And now it should look way better. So let's have a look in solid view there we go that's looking 10 times better that actually looks pretty good so before you render you need to make sure you know how many frames you're going to be rendering so i'll probably choose 100 frames so if we change hit the end to 100 but you also need to change the particle thing so if we see here it says frame start frame end change it back to 100 and lifetime lifetime is how long the particles will last for but over it will tell you what exactly everything means that's the best thing about blender so if i'll change it to 100 if I leave it at 50, after 50 frames, these will die. They will like disappear. So, now, if you watch it, it's, it's like, you know, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want. Also, before you render, open catch and hit bake. This will make it so that there's no, you know, lags or anything when you render. And obviously, if you want to render, you're going to need a camera. Shift A, add a camera. Go to the position you want. So, I think this is perfect position here. Go to view. <coughs> Align view, align active camera to view. There we go. And now we hit play. That's perfect. But obviously, you need to check it with the lighting. This is quite bland. So if we add shift A, add a light. Let's add a sunlight. We don't need to complicate this. Add normal sun. Maybe rotate it a bit. Increase it to about, let's see, five. And yeah, that's it. This is, you've literally got a simulation. So if you do want to render this out, a few things you're going to have to change. So if we go to this tab, you can choose, choose FPS here, I'll leave it on 30 for now. And in this tab, you want to go to the output and then choose the location you want to save it and press accept. 
then also change it from PNG to MPEG video, change it from that to MP4, HP64 should be fine, choose the quality here, depends on your computer, so choose your quality, and there, and all you have to do is click render, and render animation. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. My